what are your thoughts sticking on artificial intelligence a little bit about the displacement of jobs that's another perspective that candidates like andrew yang talk about, about yang gang forever <laughs> yang gang uh so he unfortunately speaking of yang gang has recently dropped out i know it was uh, very disappointing and depressing what are your thoughts on his concerns of the displacement of jobs of automations of the of course there's positive impacts that could come from automation and ai but there could also be negative impacts and within that framework what are your thoughts about universal basic income uh, so these interesting new ideas of how we can empower people in the economy i i think he was 100 percent right on almost every dimension um we see this in in squares business i mean he identified um truck drivers i'm from missouri um and he certainly pointed to the concern and the issue that people from where i'm from feel every single day that is often invisible and not talked about enough you know the next big one is cashiers this is where it pertains to squares business um we are seeing more and more of the the point of sale move to the individual customer's hand in the form of their phone and apps and pre-order and order ahead. We're seeing more kiosks. We're, we're seeing more things like Amazon Go. And the number of workers in as a as a cashier in retail is immense. And you know, there's there's no real answers on how they transform their skills and and work into into something else. And I think that does lead to a lot of really negative ramifications. And the important point that he brought up um, around universal basic income is given that the shift is going to come <clears throat> and given it is going to take time to um, set people up with new skills and new careers, they need to have a floor to be able to survive. And this $1,000 a month is such a floor. Um, it's not going to incentivize you to quit your job because it's not enough, but it will enable you to not have to worry as much about just getting on day to day um, so that you can focus on what am, what am I going to do now and what am I going to, um, what skills do I need to acquire? Um, and I think, <clears throat> I think, you know, a lot of people point to the fact that you know during the industrial age we we had the same concerns around automation factory lines and everything worked out okay but the 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 biggest change is just the 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 velocity and the centralization of a lot of the things that make this work which is the data um where data is owned um and how it's how it's shared um, so those, those are the answers that as a society, as a world, we need to have better answers around, which we're currently not. They're just way too centralized into a few very, very large companies. But I think it was spot on with identifying the problem and proposing solutions that would actually work. Well, At least that we'd learn from that you could expand or right. evolve. Um, but I mean, it's... I think it's UBI is well well past its its due. I mean, it was certainly trumpeted by Martin Luther King and and even even before him as well. And like you said, like the, you know, the exact thousand dollar mark might be uh, might not be the correct one, but you should take the steps to try to uh, to implement these solutions and see see yeah. what works. Hundred percent.